Hi everybody! I know it's been a super long time since I've made a YouTube video and I'm gonna start making videos again and I'm actually gonna be turning this into a pregnancy vlog. So if you don't follow me on social media and you don't already know, I'm actually expecting again. Um, so my first entry is gonna be how I found out I was pregnant. So last weekend I woke up on Saturday and my boobs were just killing me. Like, they hurt way worse than even when I was ever on my period or anything. But I always get that before, so I assumed, oh, you know, I'm just PMSing, whatever. And, um, I was actually supposed to start my period the day before, according to my period tracker, but my periods are always off, so I just didn't think anything of it. So throughout the day, like, I kept trying to eat and I kept feeling, like, sick every time I tried to eat. I was like, ugh, like, maybe I'm getting sick. I was like, I don't know what's going on. So, um, a couple hours later, I decided to go tanning, you know, just relax. And as I was laying there, I just kept feeling sick and I kept, like, thinking, like, could I be? I was like, no. I was like, there's no way. I was like, I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, can make reassure myself so I just feel better. So I stopped at um, the dollar store on the way home. I just bought one of the $1 pregnancy tests to take real quick. And um, on my way home, Ryan actually called me. He's like, oh, what are you doing? You want to go out for my birthday tonight? I was like, no, you know, didn't really tell him that I wasn't feeling good or anything. Just kind of was like, you know, don't feel like going out. So by the time I got home, I had to pee. And so I... It was one of the ones, yeah, you had to pee in the cup. So I peed in the cup and I like, still had my pants down around my ankles and I like took the thing and I was dripping it in it and I was just like looking at my phone and by the time I looked down, it, there was already two lines and I was just like, what? I was like, there's no way. I was like, hell no. I like fell to my knees. I was like, what? I was just like, everything was just like, what? <laughs> and so I, I FaceTimed my friend Sam. I was like, Sam, I was like, I need to tell you something. I was like, you need to just look at this. Like, just tell me what you think. She was like, is that a positive pregnancy test? I was like, shut up. I was like, no. I was like, there's no fucking way. I was like, no. So I, um, she was like, you should go to the hospital. You know, you should like try and get it confirmed, like figure it out. I was like, yeah. She was like, you should ask your mom to go with you. I was like, okay. Um, so I hung up with her and I FaceTimed another friend. And I was like, Brittany, I was like, would you go to the hospital with me? She was like, why? I was like, okay. I was like, this is a pregnancy test that I took. I was like, I don't know what to do. She was like, that's positive. She's like, but... I'm with my boyfriend right now, like, I'm not gonna be home till later. I was like, okay, well, alright. So I got off the phone with her, and I was just, like, sitting there, like, thinking, thinking. I was like, alright, I just need to call my mom. I called my mom, I was like, mom, can I come over? And she was like, yeah. And, um, I went over there, and as soon as I got there, I guess when I am up to something or whatever, I always had this smile on my face, so I was just sitting there kind of smirking a little, and she's like, what's going on? And I was, I just kept telling her, nothing, nothing. Finally, after a couple minutes of her asking, I was like, well, there's something. I was like, but I don't want to tell you anymore. She's like, just tell me. She's like, I'm not going to be mad. Like, I'm not going to judge. She's like, did you go to jail? I was like, mom, no. Like, no. <laughs> and so she's like staring at me out of the side of her eye while I'm trying to watch TV. I was like, all right, mom. I was like, I'll tell you. I was like, as long as you look at the TV and you don't look at me <laughs> when I tell you. So she looked away and I was like, okay, this morning I woke up, my boobs hurt, I felt sick, so I went and took a pregnancy test, and I pulled it out of my pocket, and I was like, this is what it came up as. She's like, is that positive? And I was like, I guess. I was like, I don't know, it's from the dollar store, you know? I was like, it's from the dollar store, who knows if it's right. She's, she just kind of put her head down, she's like, well, you need to go buy another test. So I went to the store by her house, and um, got like a $5 test, and I came back home, and I went to the bathroom, and I peed on it. I, barely, I could barely even pee, because I had just peed like an hour or two before peed on it, set it down, and I was pulling up my pants, and I was, I was looking down at it. It was already positive. I was like, oh, oh my god, like, oh my god. So I brought it out of the bathroom, and I showed my mom, and she just started crying. And um, my friend Sam was actually FaceTiming me at the same time, so I answered, and I was like, oh, well, I took another test, and it's positive, and here's my mom's reaction. And we were kind of all just sitting there talking for a minute, and, you know, Everybody keeps saying, oh, you can't, couldn't afford the copay. It's not that I can't afford the copay from the hospital. It's that the hospital charges a shit ton of money when you go to the hospital, and it's not exactly an emergency. Like, way more than $100, like $500, $600. And I didn't exactly want to pay that if I could just wait and go to the doctor. So I was like, okay, screw it. I'll just wait. I'll go to the doctor. I'll call the doctor Monday and go to the doctors this week. And so I went home, and then I ended up... Um, going to talk to Ryan and I told Ryan about it and Sam was actually telling me about um, an urgent care that didn't have copay but I couldn't find where it was and we were talking about going to it after his birthday dinner the next day which is what we had planned was to go to it the next day 
And then I was like, okay, well, have like have fun tonight, have fun for your birthday. Went home, went to bed. I woke up around two, sick as fuck. Like could not. I was sweating. I was sick every time I rolled over. I felt even more nauseous. Like it was awful. I was just dry heaving, gagging. It was terrible until like 7 a.m. I just stayed up like trying to watch TV, just trying to make myself feel, feel better. So around 7, I finally fell back asleep and I woke up at 10. My mouth was dry. It felt like I was hungover. So I was like trying to drink water and as soon as I drank the water, I could feel the cold come, go down. And as soon as that, I like a minute later, just cold came back up and I was throwing up the water. Like I just felt so weak and dizzy. And my mom, I called her. I was like, mom, I was like, I'm really sick. She's like, do you think like you have a fever? I was like, yeah. She's like, well, come over and I'll take your temperature. We'll see what's going on. So before I went to my mom's, I was like, I'm going to buy another pregnancy test from the dollar store. Because, like, I, I just couldn't believe it, you know? So I bought another one, and as soon as I got to my mom's, I uh, peed on it and positive again. And I was just telling her, I was like, Mom, I was like, I think, like, I really should go to the hospital. I was like, I can't keep water down. Everything's making me sick. Like, I'm dehydrated. I am nauseous. Like, I don't, like, I feel so, like, awful. Like, I just want, I want nausea medicine, and I want an IV. Like, I want to feel better. She's like, okay, well, that's going to be on you, like. You're gonna, don't forget you're gonna have to pay for that. I was like, oh, like it's worth it now. Like it's worth it. So I went to the hospital. I didn't tell them I was pregnant because I still in my head didn't believe that I was pregnant. So I was just like, yeah, I'm like really nauseous. I feel sick. Um, I'm dehydrated. Like just I feel like shit. Like I think I have a fever. I didn't even end up taking my temperature at my mom's. And um, first thing they made me do was pee in a cup. And um, they came in asking, you know. When was your last period? Like all that stuff. Do you think you could be pregnant? I was like, I could be. <laughs> and um, they started an IV, <clears throat> took some blood. Um, me and my mom were kind of sitting there joking, like, what if they come back and say I'm not pregnant? I was like, that'd be awesome. She was like, she was like, yeah, that'd be cool. I was like, so how are you gonna react if they say that I am pregnant? She's like, I'm gonna act shocked. I was like, okay. So um, three doctors actually ended up coming in. And um, they were like, so can we talk to you in front of your mom? I was like, I don't care. They're like, are you sure we want you, you want to talk to us in front of your mom? I was like, I, doesn't, I don't care. And I look over at my mom's like, <laughs> and they're like, well, your urine came back positive for pregnancy. And I was like, okay. And they're like, you kind of already knew that because your last period was September 26th. I was like, well, I'm always late, so I wasn't really sure, you know. So they had already started an IV and gave me some... Um, nausea medicine so they're basically just like okay well now we're gonna run some betas on your blood and give you an ultrasound so um she actually took me for the ultrasound within like 20 minutes and I actually didn't even get to um see the screen like she said that well the lady told me she's like I can't tell you any of the results of this and then on top of that she wouldn't let me see the screen like they did the abdominal and I could like barely see it when I was like laid back like this I could barely see it and then um She's like, well, I can't see anything, so I had to sign papers to do a vaginal, and when she did that, like, the computer was so far, I couldn't see anything. I could just feel it. <laughs> so, um, they ended up doing that, and about 20 minutes later or something, I was sitting in the room, the doctors came back and told me that I was really early, and that, um, my HCG levels were, like, 300, and that, um, that would put me somewhere between three and five weeks. And so, he basically just told me, you know, there's not like much else we can tell you, but make an appointment this week, go back to your doctor, whatever. So that day at four was actually Ryan's birthday dinner, but um, it was like seven o'clock by the time I got out of there and my phone was dead the whole time. So I ended up um, just going straight there after to see if they were still there and his mom was there and I, you know, I told her because she already kind of knew what was going on. And then um, Ryan and his brother showed back up and. Uh, I told them and like showed them everything and we ate dinner and saying happy birthday and everything and I ended up going back home um, to shower and everything and that's when I posted the first post about me being pregnant. So that's basically how I found out. Um, it's been almost a week since then. My first appointment at the doctor's is the 14th so that's probably when I'll make another video when I find out more. But um, thank you everybody for being so interested in this pregnancy and um, I'll be sure to keep everybody updated and let you know what goes on. So thank you guys. Bye.